Jason here, Blood Church, coming to you today. Hope all's going well in your life. God bless you. May the Lord uh, lift up your daily walk and your relationship with Him. As we are in the friends, I believe, in the last days, the end of a dispensation is, is at the door. It's close. And I want to take a look at uh, the book of Romans. We're going to take a look first um, 11.25 For I would not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. So we know that, obviously, um, Israel did not accept its, its kingdom when Jesus came and rejected the, the, the Messiah. And since that point, Jesus died on the cross, and, and the and the disciples turned um, towards um, the Gentiles and saving the Gentiles, and so the salvation period for the Israelites um, sort of sort of was lost, and um, they've been in darkness ever since, and they've been without their physical relationship with God the Father since that point in time, and. Um, if you go to chapter 12 of, the, of Romans, um, you see this is talking about the body of Christ as it relates to individual believers of the body. Um, I beseech you therefore, brethren, this is verse 1, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. I find this you know, verse interesting. First of all, like, how you define reasonable service, you know, and, and and again, the other thing is you have to present your body as a living sacrifice. Um, so that, you know, that, that's sort of interesting. Um, and I think the request is 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 reasonable because of, of the mercies that we've received by Jesus Christ on the cross, right? I mean, we definitely owe him our attention. We owe him our prayer, our dedication, our, our service. We should not be like the world. Uh, we should be we should be part of the body of Christ and be and, and be serving. Um, you're His property. We become one body, you know, with one member, if you want to call it that, with with Jesus. When you become saved, and the character of one making um, the request, you know, who's making that request? It's God. I mean, He's perfect, right? He's excellence. He has um, done everything for us, and I think you know that's another thing to consider. And again, I think there's 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 blessings to be had for us as Christians, and um, if we obey that request and if we serve Him, you will grow and you will be filled more with the Holy Spirit, more with love and and, and charity for others, and that's a blessing, my friends. That's the best blessing, in my opinion. Um, let's look at verse two and and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Alright, let's break down the first part and be not conformed to this world. So, said this all along, you know, we as Christians are not like the rest of the world. Uh, we, it's why we don't seem to fit in. It's why we seem like we're just sort of passing through. It's why we seem to be different. And that's why sometimes we're persecuted as well because we are not above. We're not conforming to the desires, the lust, and the will of Satan of this world, who, who is the leader of this world right now, that will soon end. But um, as of now, he you know he is in control, and you know Satan would want nothing more from us than us to yes, we're saved and we can't be removed from that. But as a Christian, if he could keep you from serving the Lord, um, then he makes you more like those in the world. Although you know you're not you're closer to resembling those um, that are his children, the children of disobedience. And, and that's a sad thing because then you're not serving the Lord. Um, you know, our God, the Holy Jesus Christ, amen. All right, let's look at the second part of verse 2. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. All right, so there's a couple different definitions here. There's three adjectives used to describe three different wills of God, if you want to call it that, um, that a Christian, you know, can, can, can perform at a certain level. Uh, it's sort of defining reasonable. 
service in this in this regard. Um, there's acceptable, which means the Christian is not, is is not just doing right. Um, he is trying to serve God, so you know that's that's decent. Um, there's good will of which God approves but does not accept. So that's you know that's the worst one in the sense of rewarding. Uh, you, you know, at the judgment seat of Christ, in terms of being rewarded, I would assume. And then there's there's perfect, uh, which is when a Christian does exactly what God would have you to do in in, in any moment, um, and that would be the perfect service um, of of a Christian, a born again Christian, which would be certainly the biggest blessing of all. Let's look at. Um, Let's look at verse 3. For I say, through the grace given unto to me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Verse 5. So we being many are one body in Christ, and every one members one one of another very beautiful how we're all just connected um, you know and it shows it here but again you know we are saved through our grace uh, we should not think more highly of ourselves than what we ought remember we can't even walk or breathe without G without god without the lord jesus christ giving us the power to do so and you know from that standpoint we should be thankful for every moment we have and serve him uh, god bless just a short message about service and just some thoughts to put in your head as, as we come Close, in my opinion, to that cup overflowing of, of the Gentiles' time, which will floweth over, and then God will turn his attention to the people of Israel, and um, we will be certainly raptured out. Um, I think we're close to that time. I'm not exactly sure when. Um, I'm always looking forward to the rapture and the blessed hope. I'm sure you are as well. God bless, and have a great day.